Okay team, I thought it'd be a good idea to go through Trello to kind of get a better handle on what everyone's comfortable with, um, kind of what you guys are doing day to day and kind of seeing how this tool can best um, facilitate some of those things. Um, and if you're already comfortable with Trello, feel free to ignore, but I thought this would be nice to have in a back pocket type situation. Um, so the way that it works, as some of you have already seen, is you have like the to-do column, you have the progress column, and then you have the reviewed confirmed in meeting column. So each one of these little cards is a task, and you can move them over kind of like a project flow. So that's very like top line. Um, you can see that this is the board name, these are all the members, you can go over to menu and you can say about this board, the description, you can see background, you can search cards which is really important. Jim mentioned that you can filter through cards so for instance if you want to say you're assigned to the application process team if you want to only see those cards on the board you can just click and then it shows all those cards. Additionally, all you have to do to go back to normal is unclick it. And then if you want to see cards that only you are on, you can click to see, kind of a poor example, but there you go. A little bit more of a uh, personalization. You also have the calendar and the Google Drive as power-ups here. These are also getting out of the menu. So I show you these are also here. Um, the watching setting is something that you guys can set up per card or per um, board. I have it on the board so I can kind of see activity flow altogether if things have changed. And what Trello will do is it'll send your diverse books email a notification saying this is what happened. Um, so like you'll see the little eyeball right here. I'm watching creepily all the cards that are that have my name assigned to them. And you, what you can do if you go into a card, not to get too granular, but you do have the option of watching specific cards. And you can just click that on and off. And that. Another option that Jim was mentioning earlier is the calendar. So because, and all you have to do to get out of it is click on it. So because we put due dates against all of these, um, it's much easier to see this in a calendar format so you can kind of get a bird's eye view. So all you have to do is hit the calendar and you can go through kind of like a personalized calendar and see everything that's coming up by group. And as we get deeper into the weeds, we'll probably see more. Um, another cool feature that um, we were talking about previously was that you could feed this Trello calendar into your personalized calendar. And all you have to do is go to the settings here, I calendar feed. You just want to copy this, Control C. What you can do is go to your diverse calendar. To get there, all you do is go to your email, top little grid, calendar. Exciting, you'll see all my exciting stuff. I already have the Trello board down here. So then what you do, depending on which personal calendar you use, you just go to create calendar from URL, which is our Trello URL, you would paste the Trello board in there that we copied and you'd add a calendar. Um, because I already have the Trello calendar, you can see that it's purple and that all of the assignments um, that are due based on our cards are popping up in my Google Calendar. And then if I kind of built in more of my things, like our meeting calendar and then additionally like the master calendar, you can see why this is really beneficial to have this all in the same place. Okay, let's go back to the board. 
All right, so we can get out a calendar. Um, so let's just create a card for fun, just so you can see how it works, and pretend I'm doing this in the to-do column. But anyone can create a card. You guys feel, you know, feel comfortable making, there's no like a wrong way to do it because we're just exploring. So let's say, uh, have to do laundry. So I'll add a card. You can then go into this card and there are all these different options. So you can add a description. I have to do laundry before I go to work on Monday. Save. Um, you can also comment. So you can add different people. Let's say I'm adding myself. I say, hey, you do the laundry. Save. And what's going to happen is now that I've added that member, it, they're going to get a notification via email and they'll also get a notification on the Trello board up top over here by their avatar. Um, so additionally, you can go in and add different members. So I'll add myself. You can add in labels. So yep, going to definitely need some volunteer support needed. And then additionally, all of our different groups are here too. And then as I talked about earlier, you can filter those based on what you want to see on the board. Uh, checklists, which I think are pretty cool. For example, what to fold. Add. And then you can say socks. Add. You could say shirts. Add. You could say pants. Add. And then this is your 100% and when you're done, all you do is click on it, shows you how much is accomplished. Click on it, click on it. If you decide that you don't want it anymore, all you have to do is delete it. And it'll always give you this prompt of like, are you sure? And yes, delete. You can also go in and put in due dates, which is pretty self-explanatory. You can do the time. Go through the months. Also, you can add attachments from your desktop, from Google Drive, Dropbox, however you guys store things, you can add attachments here. And I also recently added in the Google Drive so that you can sync your We Need Diverse Drive if you guys want to. If it's easier, you can also just use your personal drive and attach um, documents. But um, you can attach folders and files and that makes things a little bit easier if you're trying to find them. Additionally, if you don't want to watch a card anymore, if you're like I'm getting too many notifications, not that big of a deal big of a deal, you can unwatch it. And then to delete cards, all you have to do is go to the archive section and it'll give you an option to do delete. And then again that prompt, are you sure you want to delete it? Yes, I want to delete it. Okay, so that's basically the gist of kind of the Trello board. If you guys um, saw, I also kind of created a little database of important documents. There's a little Trello tutorial if you decide you need another one. Kind of our Zoom link information and also our contact list. I just kind of put them all in the description so everyone could get a hang of things. Um, our drive link, if you guys want to save it to your desktop, and then also to uh, the walkthrough from the retreat. And as you go down, you'll kind of see more and more. Um, for instance, Linda Sue, we added this card because we thought it was really important to have this list of publishers as something that everyone had access to all the time because we were going to be doing a lot of outreach come January. And these are our little comment sections. So yeah, you can see, um, don't be afraid, show menu, go in there, look at all the different options. If you want to copy the board, print the board, um, the link to the board at the bottom so you can save it as a bookmark um, and you can customize as you see fit. And 
yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, of course, I think we're going to go over a lot of this stuff too at our meeting on the second, just so everyone's pretty comfortable. Um, but I thought I would send this out in advance just so that everyone has this in their back pocket.